Welcome to the first episode of Breaking the Law TV, where we chronicle stupid laws, our growing nanny nation, and the everyday American lawbreaker. Breaking the Law is pleased to announce that the esteemed Dr. Pepper and her lesser known but equally refreshing colleague, Dr. Thunder, are joining the show. Doctors, thanks for being on Breaking the Law. Thank you for having us. Now, as you both know, Mayor Bloomberg wants to ban large sodas from New York. Now, Cambridge Mayor Henrietta Davis wants to do the same. LA Councilman Mitch Englander even wants to ban sodas from city parks. The list goes on. Dr. Pepper, you're a well-respected doctor. Why do you think these politicians are so fixated on soda? Well, it's a perplexing condition that I've labeled PSPD. Politician see, politician do. When one politician sees her big brother in the big city banning big sodas, she feels that she ought to do the same thing. And all these politicians are fixated on the problem du jour, that's the problem today. And right now, that's fatties. See, nobody knows what the problem the main's going to be, that's the problem tomorrow. But I do know one thing, they won't stop at restricting our freedom if it means political advancement. Dr. Pepper, these bands even make sense. Hardly. A 16.9 ounce bottle of distinctive Dr. Pepper has roughly the same amount of sugar, 54 grams, as a much smaller 10 ounce bottle of grape juice. Dr. Pepper, I never knew that juice could actually have more sugar than soda. Why aren't they banning large bottles of juice, too? You always hear of the big soda lobby. What about big juice? It's clear they've got their fruity little hands all over this. Yeah, and don't forget about arsenic, too. I mean, that's a nasty little poison that can cause hair loss, bloody urine, vomiting, convulsions, even death. Dr. Thunder, what could arsenic's vile symptoms have to do with juice? Well, <laughs> if I may. Last year, Consumer Reports tested 28 apple juices and three grape juices in the metropolitan New York area. Of the 88 samples analyzed, over 10% had arsenic levels that exceeded federal standards for bottled and municipal water. Dr. Pepper, that's amazing. It actually appears that in some circumstances, Dr. Pepper and Dr. Thunder are less harmful than juice. A signature blend of 23 flavors makes every sip of Dr. Pepper unique. There's nothing like a Dr. Pepper. And uh, for those of you who are seeking a more budget-conscious soda experience, Dr. Thunder is the trusted choice for millions of economical soda lovers everywhere who aren't in the elitist 1% like Dr. Pepper. I might be in the elitist 1%, but that's because 99% of soda lovers prefer Dr. Pepper. It's quite evident that you've got soda envy. Doctors, please, we're all friends here. So, sugar-filled grape juice and potentially arsenic-laden apple juice get a pass, but soft drinks are attacked. Doctors, do you take this assault on freedom of choice personally? I don't. I've been dealing with PSPD long enough to realize they'll end this tear and pick up another call soon enough. See, politicians on both sides aren't afraid to restrict our freedoms to these political gain. I mean, what are they gonna do next? They're gonna make us stop eating Krispy Kremes and make us just eat those little donut holes? I mean, good luck getting the cops to enforce that law. Well, actually, donut bans may sound crazy now, but New York City Health Department is actually considering a ban on large boxes of popcorn. What does Mr. Pibb have to say about all this nonsense? Mr. Who? No, I don't know that guy. All right, last question. Cambridge is home to Harvard and some of the smartest people in the world. Why do you think these smart people need to be told how to drink? I'll tell you what's going to happen. Some Cambridge residents are going to be sitting around discussing the market economies of the southern colonies and be sipping on their arsenic apple juice. And they're gonna think they're safe from bad soda. They're gonna be less free. And that's when I wanna go tap on the glass and go, hey, do y'all like apples? Yeah, precisely, and then you can take a sip of your Dr. Thunder and you can be like, hey, how do you like them apples? Yeah.